Hi, welcome back to Raunchy Reality Recaps. Now in this video, again, we're going over Kale Lowry because I just did a video about her and her getting no child support from a baby daddy. Well, apparently she said something on one of her Coffees and Convos podcasts that kind of got people irritated. Now, um, I got this uh, article from the Inquister. And they also got the article from the Sun, the U.S. Sun. So if you want to check out one of those, definitely check out one of those. But I'm using this one because it also gave out a little bit more information, which um, one of I guess the Teen Mom fans dug up. So definitely want to talk about that. Now, um, going over the article, it says Teen Mom Two Star Caitlin Lowry faces backlash for comments about her children in her recent podcast. Now. Just to go over this, it said in the episodes of the Coffees and Convos, she began by talking briefly about the men, including her ex-husband. She also talked about the respective fathers of her four children. Um, and she, it says the fans of the Teen Mom series may remember that the details regarding the fifth child remains undisclosed. So she might have another one. Who knows? We all think, and she does. Now, um... She went on to mention about how per, uh, this particular topic was a double-edged sword and insinuated that things could backfire if her relationship goes south. It's always a double-edged sword or a catch-22, claimed Lowry. She emphasized that the aftermath um, of inducing her, introducing her children to her romantic partner after things have progressed between the two. She said, I feel like it's one of those things, like if you don't introduce them right away and things are invested, added Lowry. Lowry further elaborated on the topic and said, if they don't get along when you do and you already been invested six months to a year, but if you introduce them too soon, it could be too soon for that. However, as things went on, Lowry noted that she, uh, that each child perceives the thought of a new family member in their lives very differently. She explained that it does vary by situation, but honestly, I might get, you know, um, SH, you know what, for saying this. If men came in and out of my kid's life is the biggest form of trauma, I feel I can, I can live with that. Um, yeah, and she did get a lot of backlash for that. Now, I am also doing, just to say, I'm doing an article, or I'm sorry, I'm doing a video on an article I found of Lee, Leah, well, as well, Leah Messer, um, and her talking about, you know, her kids and, um, trying to get them basically to avoid teen pregnancy. And, um, it kind of, the advice kind of runs on the same. So you might see me say the same thing in that video as well, but basically what Kale is saying here is that you know it she doesn't want it could be either they meet them too soon or they don't like them and it's bad for them or you know they meet them and you find out you know things get together and they get along well or you hold off for that six months to a year and you, they meet their, you meet, or they meet your kids and then things don't go well. And then you just wasted all that time. Um, personally, here's what I have to say about that. Now, again, it would be, people might not agree with me. That's perfectly fine. I, I'm not part of your life, so you don't have to <laughs> agree with me. You know, we don't have to argue about it, but this is just my opinion. I think if, you, you no, I mean, at that point, you're either deciding whether your feelings should get hurt or your kid's feelings should get hurt. That's how I feel. I feel that you, as a parent, you need a date, not your kids. You need a date for six months to a year, however, at least a good while before, you know, you introduce your kids to your partner, your, your, your boyfriend or girlfriend. I think that you need to wait. And, you know, if you find out after a year and you introduce them to kids and it doesn't work out, then, you know, who's going to feel bad about it? You are. You are. You are going to feel bad about it. Things, you know, go bad and, you know, it doesn't work out. But, you know, you're going to feel the heartbreak. Not your kids because your kids like, hey, that friend that came over, you know, we didn't really like him. Um, you know, good thing we never had to see him again. But 
let's say you introduce your kids after a week or two of dating or like a month or two and your kids get to hang out with this person it does work out they do like them but in the end y'all two don't work out so who who's who's hurt more you know who who's got the feelings whose heart's broken you and your kids now because now the kids fell in love with this person and they'll never see him again you know because mom and our dad and them couldn't work it out you know so i i sorry no i i just don't i don't agree with that i think you should take the hit basically you take the hit, not your kids. Your kids doesn't have to know your love life. Your kid, I mean, you can wait a year, you six months to a year. Seems plenty reasonable. And you don't have to worry about your kids falling in love with a person and then getting heartbroken with y'all two can't make it out. The only thing you have to worry about is, hey, I'm going to date this person for a year. And if they don't work out with my kids, they just know them as a friend that they'll never see again. But I'm heartbroken. But hey, at least my kids aren't. So, yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that. I mean, that's like saying, hey, well, <laughs> you're like putting trauma on a scale. None of it's good, really. Just because you think that's the, like the less hurt than, you know, other things, which, yeah, are probably more traumatizing, but still, it's <laughs> like, come on, man, come on, like, just you'd had f three or four or how many baby daddies you have now she had four four right four yeah four baby daddy five kids allegedly gotta say that but yeah you have that many kids you done did this plenty of time and it's time to like grow up and take the hit and don't put that on your kids anywho so the article goes on and as um as Lowry suspected, she received some harsh criticism from fans on Reddit and a fragment of the conversation was uploaded there by a listener. The screenshot with a title episode as well. And um, somebody actually posted some comments on about it. And one person said she literally stated that her mother having men and in and out of her life was one of her biggest childhood traumas. Yeah. So... What, what is I'm going to have to go back and listen because I'm interested now. Um, but yeah, if that's true, if she said that, then girl, come on now. Y'all forget what y'all say. Oh. And another person says she can live with that. Um, the cognitive. Oh, girl. Never mind. That girl <laughs> used a big word and I don't know it. So I'm not going to say it and mess it up. And we're going to skip that one. Um. Yeah, and then another person said, surely the goal is to not give your child any trauma, right? Yeah. <laughs> and another person says, maybe you can deal with it, Kale, but your children can't. Yeah, and, I mean, it's right. She's putting it on a scale. She's like, oh, well, it's not bad as this, so it's all right. And then the fact that she possibly said the same thing about her mom doing that, and she's doing it to her kids. Like, come on now. Come on. Time to grow up. Girl, time to look into a mirror. And next, I mean, I hope there's not a next time. But next time, if you start dating again, your kids don't need to meet them. Your kids don't need to meet them. They don't need to meet them for a good year. And then when they meet them, you need to be like, this is my friend. And when you're with them, you don't sit there. You act like a friend. You don't sit there and hug all over them, kiss all over them, or, you know, be really affectionate. Treat them like a friend. And then figure out if your ki if it works out with your kids, you know? You take the hit, not your kids, man. Oh, anyways, that, I mean, that was just, that just shows the immaturity of her. It really does. Like, just the amount of, like, the girl can make some money. You know, like, she knows how to make money, but as, sure, as far as making, you know, mature decisions about her dating life or whatever, like, yeah, that ain't happening. But anywho, y'all have a great day. Wanted to put this out as well. I'll be bringing you a lot of videos today because uh, apparently I'm talking a lot. But y'all have a great day. Like, subscribe, share. Bye.